I know, dude. Sometimes I look at these properties that we have, and I'm like, I'm like, why would we even sell this? You know? <laughs> Hello, America. Jake here with CheapEasyLand.com. I'm here with my partner, Tristan. What's up, Tristan? What's up, guys? Right. Feeling free today. So today we want to do a deep dive on a one-acre property in Denellen, Florida. We have quite a few of uh, properties in this area. This is a beautiful area that um, is kind of underrated, in my opinion. So let's dive in. This is one acre. Here's a plot map. You've got a paved road on one side and a dirt road on the other. And so we have an awesome drone guy that goes out. He does his drone footage for us. And so let's take a look. Shout out to Dez. Dez Photos. He's a man. Follow him on Instagram. Does all of this for us. All right. So this is the entrance coming in. It's a nice wide paved road. It's it's in a rural setting. You got easements over there. I didn't really think that I liked focusing on the road so much because when you but when you go down enough dirt roads, you realize that it's nice to have a freaking yeah. paved road. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that. this is the this is the side of the property here. You've got power lines that you can tap into. This is your neighbor's property right there. Here's an overview. This is the property right here. Neighbor's going to give you a good idea of what you can do on your property. So he's got a little site built house. He's got his whole property is fenced. He's got this huge driveway. You can probably fit like 10 cars in this driveway. He's got it's like half the property is his driveway. So he's got like, look, he's got it halfway fenced, like, and then the front is a whole way fenced. He's got a gate right here. So they obviously don't care about fencing. You can put a boat back there. He's got a trailer back there. He's got a shed back there. He's got some decent green grass in the front. These, these are, this is a recent drone footage. So you can see that. You know, there's no water spots. This is rainy season too. So there's no, there's no water spots on the property. There's no um, wetlands on the property. You've got a horse trainer back here, like boards, horses and trains horses. So you're going to be looking at green grass and horses living right here, which is pretty cool. Tristan, you, you like horses. I do love riding them. What, what do horses eat? What, like what kind of vegetables? What do horses eat? Yeah. Oh, grass. Just grass. Right. I mean, they'll eat. They'll eat anything you give them. But you know, they they eat grass and hay and treats and uh, grain. Nice. You, you feed them enough, they'll get big and strong. Run through all these trails that we have. This whole area is surrounded by horse trails, and then there's two state parks on either side that are also surrounded by horse trails. <laughs> so if you're into riding horses. This is a place. It's such a pretty scene. I mean, that's just like, oh, no. like, you know that this huge property across from you is not going to be developed, really. I mean, you're just going to see horses here. It's like, you already have a, the one full side of your property is already fenced off. So you don't even have mm -hmm. to fence that section off. You got power. Yeah. You, all you need is put a well and septic and put a, get a guy to build you a little home there feel like that's it's like this is just like so so pretty seen like did you say it was partially cleared is that what he said that's that's yeah that's what it looks like yeah it doesn't look prob it doesn't look like a hard thing to do You got some big farms in the area. Look nice cool. area. Well, it's so green. I know. I just driving through there is just so pretty, to be honest with you. Um, Rule. Got Literally. little pine trees. You can keep some. I mean, I don't know why the people just cleared that entire lot and don't keep any trees, but you can do whatever you need. Yeah, for firewood or something. Do whatever you want. It's your land. When you buy it, it's your land. You buy it, you take it. <laughs> Look at that. You're on the globe. 
What? I did not see this part. You're of the on video. the globe. So I'm going to run yes. through a couple of the basic stats. We've got three different financing options, um, cash price. What's what's really cool about this area and this pro property in particular is one acre properties in this price range in Florida are that are high and dry and buildable are very are getting rare and rare. So this is. This is one of those few few areas I think that where you can get a one acre, which is a good size piece of land for in that 20K range. If you go to any other part of the state, I mean, down down in Southwest Florida, an acre down here is gonna be like probably 150, $200,000 for. So to your left of that property, and this is only, this is seven minutes from the property is Goth State Park. It's 54,000 acres of land that's been reserved. It's good for camping, regulated hunting, hiking, biking, and a lot of horse riding. So again, if you're into horses or you ever thought about it, you buy this property, you got a farm behind you, somebody who knows a thing or two about horses, you got horse trails all around the property already. Then you have two state parks to go. State park has the horse riding trails. And then, but the thing is, RVs are not allowed in Ghost State Park, under my understanding. It's only primitive camping. However, Jake, if you go to the right of the um, whole subdivision, um, is Rainbow Springs State Park. Yeah, right here. So that's got a lot of swimming, crystal clear blue water. You got a um, river running through it. You see that? Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, Swimming, actually, um, snorkeling, fishing, birding, camping, all that good stuff. Now you can RV here, dude. I actually got scuba certified right here at K Hole Park. Oh, you did? Yeah. Basically, like it? you, you just park and then you bring your stuff out here. They bring a pontoon boat down and pick you up, and they mm -hmm. bring you up river, and then you just float down the river. Mm -hmm. But you can scuba or snorkel or. Um, kayak or paddleboard or just go fishing there's a bunch of people that just fish shit or, or uh, that's fish that's and a shit. long that's a long river yeah i mean it took it took us two hours to float down like just right there oh really yeah well that's it for today folks that's it for today folks what's cool about this property is you're kind of like on the edge of civilization before you hit these real rural areas you mm -hmm. got cedar key is it the clam chowder capital of the world right there really yeah no, they no, catch no. more clams there than any other place in the world right there like that it's a big fishing village um gainesville is 40 miles away You've got UF right there. You can go to a UF football game. Ocala, Ocala is your closest big city. I think I think it's like thirty. It's less than thirty miles away. Um, you're close to Walmart. Yeah, you're a twenty minute drive from the city of Denellen. Thirty minutes from the Lake Russo RV Resort and Lake, which is looks like that little snake guy right down there. Basically, if you're into water sports or if you're into horses or water sports or like, and you know, maybe having like a little growing your own vegetables and this is like, we, we buy a lot of properties in this area because of that, because it's kind of like, it's like an unfound area just because it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit, but you are close to these cities now. I mean, you can get internet out there. You can work from home. I mean, just a beautiful a area. Do. Every time, every time I drive through there, I just like it even more. But that, so that's the area. Run through a couple of the stats real quick. Taxes are one hundred and thirty dollars a year. So even if you don't put anything on there, it's only going to cost you one hundred and thirty dollars a year. To there's no HOA in this community, so there's no HOA fee. The only other fee no impact i mean there's if you want to build there's going to be property taxes on your house but as far as 
just maintaining the land, it's going to cost you $130 a year. Pretty, pretty cheap. I think what separates over. us is we have really flexible financing terms. If you see like an option on here that you don't, you're not in love with, just contact Tristan and we can come up with a custom finance option for you. And we offer right. a, high, a lot of incentives for higher down payments so we can go out and provide more properties for you guys. So that's right. We want to help you get into some land so, because we believe yeah. owning land is the American dream. Nobody can take that from you. It is own a piece of America. You can buy a piece of land for our lowest payments, 285 a month. That's like the price of a Rio a month, right? Is that a Rio? Is that a car? Rio? That, uh, that, that's like one of the, what is it? Rio? Rio Grande? I don't know. Rio Grande. I know what you're talking about, but I just can't put my finger on Kia? it. Yeah. Little Kia land swap program. If you don't like yep. it, if you really don't like the property, you buy it, go out there. Um, and it's your first time seeing it and you bought it sight unseen and it's just not what you thought it was. It's no problem. If we have another property that could work for you, we can take the equity and all the down payments and any payments that you have made on the property and we can just swap them over to a different property. Yeah. So you're not so you're locked not in forever. If you like don't love the property or you need to move or whatever, um, any other property we have for sale, you can swap out. I mean, I think we're the only people that do that. Only land sellers that do that. I haven't heard of anyone else doing it or that currently does it. So we're just, we're, you know, a small business that, you know, wants to take care of its clients. So we're not this um, faceless corporation that, like I, I tried to call Amex yesterday because they charged me some overcharged interest. And I had to talk to like, 10 different people to even not even get the problem resolved, but then they just escalated it. And then I have to wait 72 hours to get any answer. So mm -hmm. that's not going to happen here. So um, we want to work yeah, with you talk direct. Yeah. So you're talking directly with the people that are involved. It's not like Which a call us. center. So it's just Tristan, me and, you call it's his me and Jake there and get in contact with him. Our website, if you have any questions about the website, it's always kind of a work in progress because we're always kind of trying to improve on things. Uh, but just call Tristan. He answer any questions if you see any, you know, any discrepancies on the website. But we basically try to make it easy. You just pick a payment plan and check out. You'll get directed to a payment page. Complete your order. We'll get notified and then we'll send you all the paperwork and um, get you set up if you do do the owner financing we'll get you set up with the um, payment software just to make make extra payments oh also if you pay if you pay um, the cash price within 12 months your loan is paid so basically the cash price is the best price that we can offer and but we offer it on all of the pay, the financing terms if you make if you meet that amount in 12 months I know so, that sounds kind of confusing, to, but we're just trying to give you the, we're trying to give you the best price if you can do it within 12 months. If you go past 12 months, we can't offer the finance price because these properties go up in value so fast that, you know, we're, we're, we're extending a long loan over a long period of time. Um, so you can get, you can basically lock in your, your um, price now and pay on it as you go. That's the whole point of it. So this Who are is we? this is my wife. She's going to be coming in. She's pregnant right now, but she's once she has a baby, she's going to be coming in to the business with us. This is Tristan and his daughter right there. What's that Fripp? That's where me and Jake first met. So yeah, this is where we met there. We um had a paddleboard company, paddleboard tour and rental company. Tristan was a tour guide for during the summer as he went through went through school this is in key west right here we have quite a few properties and they're constantly changing and if you're not already 
subscribe to our email list and follow us on Facebook. And we're trying to come out with some more YouTube videos on different properties, because if you are in the market for a property specifically in central Florida on the West coast, you are going to want to put us down or you'll, you'll see something you love next week or the week after. So get on our newsletter. And we won't blow you up. I send one, maybe two emails a week. That's it. Don't worry. I'm not going to hassle you. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're small, but we're, you know, any questions, like we're trying to get, get the website right, but it's just, I don't have a specific website guy that works on this. It's just me and Tristan working on the website. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, it's perfect. A, yet, a few but, grammatical errors every there, every now and then, you know, that's how we can keep the cost down. You know, if we do a lot of the stuff ourselves right now, and it's been doing this for four years and we plan on doing it for a lot longer. So it's not like we're going anywhere. We've got some really happy customers that come in, they pay the land off. You can watch a testimonial right there. They come in, they they work with us. They they're, you know, if you need to develop the land, we'll work with you beforehand. And we've got some got some happy people at the end of the day, which is pretty awesome. We do. We do have some satisfied customers for sure. We they think do. it's really cool that they can finance land. It's not really like, it's not a very mainstream common thing that you can go buy um, an acre lot in a really nice area like the property that we just showed you and make payments on it. And it and you receive all the rights to the property. The only thing that we hold is the deed. So whatever you want to do with the land, you it can be done. Obviously, we will have to sign off on a few things if you're installing utilities uh, like power and sewer, but we have no problem doing that. We'll help you get those. And it's your land. That's at the end of the day. That's the only thing that we hold is the deed. And then once that loan's paid off, I mean, you're good to go. And what's crazy is that you didn't have to have $20,000 in your pocket to do it. So if you're looking, if you want to find one of these properties, a lot of these properties in these rural areas don't have addresses. That's a common question. Is there an address? All you have to do is you take the Google coordinates and copy and paste it into Google Maps, or you can just click on this map and hit larger map and then type in your location and then it'll give you directions. Or you can just go to the map. You can find your neighbor, type it. If your neighbor has an address like this, just hit the neighbor, type in their address, go to, and then go to their address. So, or, and we have all the Google are the uh, corner points in there. So just hit the corner points and um, there you go. So next time you think about, you know, getting a new car, I always compare it like buying a piece of land to buying a car because it's kind of a similar price point as far as what the price points that we sell. But look, at, after you pay the car off, the car is going to be worth about 25% of what you paid for it. In this case, it's probably going to be worth double what you paid for it when you pay this thing off. So I've seen, seen the prices just, you know, just go up and up and up. And that's the thing with land, the land, the price of your land is going to keep going up and up and up over time. And the, everything else that you buy is going to go down and down and down. So that that's, that's a key difference. If you want to be an investor, because I consider whenever you buy a piece of land, you, you are now an investor. And you know, so you, you switch from You're investing in your investor, <clears throat> you're going to have this piece of land. It's not going anywhere. You don't need yeah. insurance on it. You don't need to carry insurance yeah, because, true. you know, if, so that's well, just an extra get damaged. Expense, you know, investing um, in yourself, your future. Yeah. Invest in, then, you know, um, you can give this to your kids or your great grand, your grandkids or great grandkids. You don't, you, it's not necessarily, you have to go out and a lot of people buy the land and they don't do anything with it. They just want it in their portfolio so they can pass it down. Or if you buy a piece of land when you're young, when you hit retirement age, you can you can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it, pay for some of your retirement, or you can build on it. 
you know, at that time, or you can, you can swap finance it out it for somebody. another piece of land. So you, you have a lot of options when you buy a piece of land, but you are, at least your, your money is safe in there in the land. It's not, it's not safe when you put it into a vehicle or. Yeah. Vehicles else. can get damaged. Someone can steal your vehicle. You got to pay insurance on a vehicle on land. You can't, you can't, you can't have that taken from you. People can't steal your land. People can damage your land. That's what I think is great about it. You don't need they, any insurance. The only thing you have to pay is the, the, the property taxes, which are pretty low. I mean, it's pretty, pretty low. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen property prices go, you know, it could go up 50% in a year. I mean, you can't get that type of return you know, pretty much anywhere. It's not, it's not guaranteed to go up or anything, but at least you can use it. You know, you can use it while you have it. You can go camping on most of these lots. You can go camping on temp, like for a weekend. You can't live in a camper. Right. I don't think there's really any places in, in Florida that you can actually live in a camper, have an address full time. But most of them have, most of them you can go camping for a weekend, long weekend, or up to a week or something like that. Check with your local county. County yes, zoning county. before you before you start, you know, if you're gonna be in an RV for more than like a week, do not, you know, call the county and make sure that you're allowed to do that. But you just don't want to get fined. You don't want your like, neighbors calling you. Yeah, fine. like this lot, like this lot is not zoned for mobile homes, but I'm sure you could go out there with a camper for a weekend. I mean, you got this trail there. I mean, don't you think you could go out there for a camper? In a camper for a weekend. Yeah, I mean, be so. One thing you can do, and I would double check with the county on this, is that if you plan to build a house, you get a build permit, you're allowed to stay in a camper on the property. But you have to get a build permit from the county because you don't want to go out there and just plot just put your RV down in there without the intention to build because you could possibly get a fine. Yeah. Just, just work with the County. Um, I mean, depending on what you're doing, if you're going out yeah, there for each property is different, can, you pretty much go, go and do anything for a weekend. No one gives, no one really cares, but that's why it's kind of rec like recreationally. You can pretty much use these lots for whatever you want. You know, you can't, don't go off, don't go out there and start shooting guns next to people that, other than that, I mean, go own your freedom, baby. Like yeah. such, I, I, I like. I want to keep the, all these properties. You know, like look how look how pretty this property is. Like, I want to build yeah, a little house really right nice. there. <laughs> you know, you can, like look at horses. Like I, I want to go look at horses and just, you know, have a nice fenced-in yeah, yard, that's... an acre. Like I, I live on a third of an acre, and I have a big yard. But an acre, that's three times the size of this. That that's neighbor's plenty, that's like plenty that, of land. Like I don't that neighbor's house makes that whole area look that neighbor's house makes that plot of land look massive. Like I and know, they, I mean literally they took up half their yard with the drive with the driveway. Like, like look that? how look how small those cars look on there. You can fit another few in there and big turnaround. They must be pulling yeah. big they must be pulling trucks and trailers in there. Yeah, they definitely like why would you why else would you need a driveway that big? You know. Yeah, and they got a gate on the right side of the on the right there. Dude, they dude, this is a nice that's a nice setup. Like I would buy I would live there. Yeah. They got a gate. I would put big old drop turnaround. Look, they've got I mean they got a boat, at least a couple they got a couple boats or something back there shed trailer truck three cars like this looks like it used to be a big tree or something mm -hmm. or oh, like rainbow lakes estates look at this thing look at this neighborhood it's freaking undeveloped it's untapped i don't know why like this is i don't know why there's not houses everywhere in this this it's huge it's huge look you've got all these roads in here most of them are paved You've got houses scattered out here. You can get Talk about lost in private there. life.
these lots are going to be worth 50 grand each in in pretty pretty soon like that's yeah because it's it's got the proximity give it 10 years it's got the proximity to um gainesville and ocala i mean this is going to be like a suburb of like a nice really nice suburb of ocala mm -hmm. for people that want one acres you can't find one acres anywhere or, you know, I mean, there's just not that many of them. If you go down here and look for a one acre in Citrus County, one county to the south, and you're looking for a one acre right here, there, there is a neighborhood with one acres in it. Maybe this one. They're 50 grand. They're, they're 50 grand a piece. You can come up. We can go one county north and get one acres for 20, you know, that 20, 25K range. I'm I'm surprised when people go like, oh, one acre is not big enough for me. Like, I'm just like, I don't, of course, of course. I mean, I, li I live on a third acre and of course I want more, but like a one acre is like plenty enough to have a, a boat, a shed, an RV, a huge driveway, a huge Yeah, look building. at that other neighbor. Look at that other neighbor. You have look a swimming... how much land they got behind. Oh, this one? Look at all that land they got. No. Uh, that one. one. Oh yeah. Left. Yeah. Look at all that land they got behind them. I mean, this is more of something that I would do. Just put like a, I would put my house here kind of closer and then put a, mm -hmm. maybe a swimming pool back here and then put a huge like steel building or something back here. Big garage. Yeah. Big workshop, make like, make furniture and have a little garden over here. I mean, you can have a 3,000 square foot house, a 5,000 square foot steel building back here. You could have an, a garden, another 5,000 square foot garden. I mean, an, an acre is 45,000 square feet. So when you think about it, I mean, 